All right, what up, y'all? So check out this flywheel holder tool I made right here for Evan Rude Johnson outboards. Basically, it's a piece of bed frame with a handle welded on it right here, drilled a hole in here, and then I cut it up. I cut a notch in it so it would fit around the socket on the flywheel, and same dealio here, and it's just got these holes in it so that you can put it on top of the flywheel like that and then hold your flywheel to get it off. So let's go see it in action. All right, guys, so check out my flywheel holder tool. I got it installed right here. You can see it clearances like that, right? So the socket goes right down in there. It's just old bed frame, angle iron with a pivot point and grade eight bolts. So these grade eight bolts, these holes are fine thread. I believe they're 5 16 24 fine thread. Um, but you, you know, we're gonna need them for the puller. You gotta go get them for the puller. And uh, I keep a bag on me. So I keep a bag in the shop like this, full of a bunch of grade eight fine thread bolts for pulling these things on outboards. Man, this comes in handy. Uh, big time because these are always fine thread on the top of the flywheel. Let's get this thing off. It works great, I'm telling y'all. This thing is awesome. Let's pop the top off. All right guys, so here's the harmonic balancer puller. I ran it down at AutoZone. Basically, we're just gonna use this piece and the center piece and the little uh, cup. And then you go down to the hardware store, get you some uh, 5 16 inch diameter, 24 thread pitch, fine thread, grade eight bolts. Of course, they gotta be grade eight. And uh, we're just gonna thread them in, you know, pop the thing off. Let's do it. Well, the flywheel magnets are pristine, they're perfect. The stator flywheel magnets are perfect. They just got a little bit of paint chipping off. And then the timer base flywheel magnets around here are flawless. There's nothing wrong with them. So. All right, flywheel nut torque chart, 140 to 145 foot-pounds. All right guys, so I just reviewed the video. Basically, there's a couple tips I left out that I thought were helpful. So you can get some anti-seize and coat it on the inside of the flywheel and coat it on the tapered part of the crankshaft up top. You know where it's tapered, you can put some on there so that it doesn't get stuck on there in the future because sometimes they get stuck on. And also that little flywheel key that goes in there, you can take some super glue and put a couple drops on the flywheel key and hold it there until it cures and then the thing won't fall out. When you go to set the flywheel on there, sometimes if you hit it wrong, that little key drops out. If you glue it and you put the flywheel on there, the key can't fall out. So that's a really good tip. Other than that, guys, pretty straightforward. Um, you saw how to do it. I'll check you out on the next one. Don't forget to drop me a huge thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more boat videos in the future. I'll check y'all out on the next one. Peace.